Today we will be discussing the benefits of fruits and vegetables and how they can be incorporated into your healthy eating style. This project is funded by the USDA Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program through the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services. This institution is an equal opportunity provider. Let's talk benefits. Everything you eat and drink matters. The right mix of food groups can help you be healthier now and in the future. What benefits can you name that fruits and vegetables provide for our bodies and health? A diet rich in fruits and vegetables as part of an overall healthy diet may include reducing the risk for heart disease, including heart attack and stroke, protection against certain types of cancers, a reduction in the risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes, low blood pressure, a reduced risk of developing kidney stones, help to decrease bone loss, or even potentially a lower caloric intake. Making a shift from high calorie foods to fruits and vegetables, which tend to be lower in calories, may have an effect on a person's overall calorie intake, which can help in achieving and maintaining a healthy body weight. Fruits and vegetables are packed with several important nutrients, including potassium, fiber, vitamins A and C, folate, magnesium, iron, and calcium. Each of these nutrients plays an essential role in our health from reducing our risk of chronic disease to keeping our hair and skin healthy. Consuming a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables every day will ensure you are getting the right balance of nutrients. Take a look at the foods on this chart. Are there any foods on this chart that you eat? Did you notice that many of the foods actually are found in several boxes? Individual fruits and vegetables are packed with several vitamins and minerals, which help to make them such great choices. By eating a variety of fruits and vegetables, we can attain a wide range of necessary nutrients. Have you ever heard of phytonutrients? These compounds are produced by plants and have protective or disease preventive properties. Each phytonutrient comes from a variety of fruits and vegetables that we eat every day and has different effects and benefits for the body. There are over 4,000 phytonutrients, but only a few have been named and studied. Some of the more common phytonutrients and the foods they are found in include beta carotene, which can be found in carrots, pumpkin, sweet potato, and cantaloupe, flavonoids, found in oranges, grapefruit, and lemon, lycopene, found in tomatoes, red peppers, and watermelon, lutein, found in collard greens, kale, spinach, and broccoli, anthocyanins, found in blueberries, blackberries, plums, red potatoes, allyl sulfides, found in garlic, onions, and chives. Consuming a variety of fruits and vegetables ensures that you are also including a variety of phytonutrients. My plate recommends making half of your plate fruits and vegetables. Try focusing on whole fruits, choosing whole fruits that are fresh, frozen, canned, or dried. Fruit can be included with the meal, as a snack, or as a dessert. And when it comes to vegetables, try to vary them by adding fresh, frozen, or canned veggies to salads, sides, and main dishes. Choose a variety of colorful veggies that are prepared in healthful ways, such as steamed, sauteed, roasted, or raw. Make sure to include choices that are dark green, red, and orange. So what do we count as a vegetable? Any vegetable or 100% juice counts as a vegetable. Vegetables may be raw or cooked, fresh, frozen, canned, or dried, or dehydrated, and may be whole, cut up, or mashed. It's important to vary your veggies throughout the week to get all of the nutrients that the vegetable group offers. My plate categorizes vegetables into one of five vegetable subgroups based on their nutrients. To get all of the nutrients that the vegetable group provides, we need to consume vegetables from each vegetable subgroup throughout the week. Think about this example. Generally, only vegetables from the dark green subgroup are going to be good sources of calcium. So how much should we strive for and what counts as a serving? Try to strive for two and a half cups of vegetables every day. What counts as a cup? One cup of raw or cooked vegetables, 
two cups of leafy salad greens and one cup of 100% vegetable juice. Think about some of the different ways that you can add more veggies into your diet. Try purchasing fresh vegetables in season. They cost less and are likely to be at their peak flavor. Stock up on frozen veggies for quick and easy cooking in the microwave. Buy vegetables that are easy to prepare. Purchasing pre-washed bags of salad greens, baby carrots, or grape tomatoes are great for a salad in minutes. Buy packages of veggies such as baby carrots or celery sticks for a quick snack. Veggies with hummus or ranch can make a great snack. Have you ever gotten intimidated by some of the veggies you see in the market? You can usually find videos on the internet to show you how to prepare and cook different veggies. You can also get ideas for recipes that use or feature those vegetables online. What about the fruit group? What do you think counts as a fruit? Well, any fruit or 100% fruit juice counts as a fruit. Fruits may be fresh, canned, frozen, or dried. They can also be whole, cut up, or pureed. How much fruit should we strive for every day and what counts as a serving? You should strive for two cups of fruit daily. One cup of fruit can look different depending on the form of the fruit. One cup looks like one cup of raw or cooked fruit, half a cup of dried fruit, and one cup of 100% fruit juice. What are some of the different ways that you could add more fruit into your every day? Try keeping a bowl of whole fruit on the table, counter, or in the refrigerator. Refrigerate pre-cut fruit to snack on later. Buy fresh fruits in season when they may be less expensive and at peak flavor. Add a bit of fruit to your breakfast. Try adding cut up fruit into cereal, oatmeal, or in yogurt. And consider convenience when shopping. Pre-cut packages of fruit such as melon or pineapple chunks are a great way to enjoy a healthy snack in seconds. Just be sure to choose packaged fruits that do not have added sugars. Do you have a sweet tooth? Try having fruit for dessert or when you're craving something sweet. Remember, you want to vary your fruit choices because they vary in different nutrients.